Hey, hey, everyone, welcome back to Unlimited Living Color TV. I'm your host, Alexis Monet. Before we get started, make sure you all hit that like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, everyone, so we all know it's been a long time since the City Girls have released an album or even a single. They have promoted songs here and there, but they haven't officially dropped anything yet. Now, we all know Young Miami has been out here diddy bopping with Carisha Please, and JT has been out here with Little Uzi Bird. And everyone has been wondering where's the music because they did push back their album last year. But just a day ago, Young Miami and JT did tease a new song. And since they did drop a snippet, a lot of people are excited to see that they are back and excited to see if they will drop the album soon as i did mention before in the video they were supposed to drop an album last summer but they did push it back and it was assumed that they did push it back due to beyonce dropping her renaissance album around the same time and we all know when beyonce drops nobody can compete you might as well wait your turn so i feel like they've waited in the moment maybe now they might be dropping some singles during the spring and gearing up to drop the album during the summer but we'll just have to wait and see now moving on to the next topic now we all know ice spice is the it girl right now and she does have a major buzz and ice was recently featured on the cover of days magazine and they did name her the people's princess now although a lot of people may not like ice spice and feel like she can't rap the queen of rap shows some love to ice spice we all know ice spice has shown love to Nicki minaj numerous of times in interviews so it was nice to see Nicki showing a new girl some love despite what people may say about Nicki and other female rappers and one person who had a lot to say about ice spice and Nicki minaj linking up was dj academics and if you didn't hear what dj academics had to say take a listen and some of it is a little negative but We'll get into that later, but check this out. Nikki's giving a cosign clearly to Ice Spice and even calling her princess. That's like a big deal. Nikki's been the queen for so long. People have kind of looked to her to say, who would you, f you know, kind of, you know, give or bestow that right of being princess, you know? That would be almost like a sign of maybe Nikki will, not saying pass the crown, but acknowledge somebody else coming up. And I'm gonna be honest, y'all ain't gonna like me for this take. Y'all ain't gonna like me for this take, okay? Ice Spice run, immediately, run. Anytime Nicki shows love to a female artist, she does it with the expectation of undying love. Somebody said they're gonna be beefing a week. Might be beefing by tonight. And I don't think um, Ice Spice is like that because she doesn't seem confrontational at all. But what Nicki just did is that she's gonna force and pressure. She's gonna have her fans, and this was this is why the barbs are toxic. They're gonna force and pressure this girl to never be cool with anybody who Nicki don't like, and that's why these things don't work, right? But say that Cardi B likes her, or say she's gonna sing to one of Cardi B's song, or say Cardi B sings one of her songs. And she's like, oh, thank you, Cardi. Thanks for helping me get more recognition. If she says that, the barbs hate her and Nikki's gonna start dissing her. Everybody knows this. So what happens here is like, it's kind of a weird spot because like, it's a dope thing that Nikki says it's about you, but you're now in Nikki's army. Like if, if you do anything that is anti-Nikki, <laughs> right? Even though you might not be trying to do it because it's anti-Nikki, they're on your ass. So... I don't know what the f like is gonna happen here, but um, uh, it's interesting that she picked Ice Spice. Um, I think JT w was kind of like auditioning for like maybe that type of compliment. You know, JT from the City Girls, like she was on live, like yo, Nick Nikki was like yo, yo, sing that this song again. She was like, okay, okay, let me clear my voice. <clears throat> like she was all for it, so maybe she wanted that title, but nah, Ice Spice gets the title. Now we all know the history between Nicki Minaj and DJ Academics has been rough. They haven't always gotten along, but most recently it does look like Nicki Minaj did follow him on Instagram. So maybe they were able to work something out and squash their beef, but DJ Academics is known to try it when it comes to Nicki Minaj. And in my opinion, I really don't understand him telling Ice Spice to run away from Nicki like she's going to end her career or dislike her or cause a beef just because Ice Spice may want to go work with Cardi B or someone Nicki Minaj may not like and let's be real Cardi B and Ice Spice have already linked up in public and Nicki Minaj still followed her on Instagram showed her some love and recited some of Ice's lyrics so yeah DJ Academics is just being a little messy boots but you let me know how you feel about everything down below thanks again for joining me for another video and until next time bye